you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the brand new heavyweight players that are now in packs. So, this video might be like a few minutes later than usual because my camera was not cooperating with me, of course, at 1030 because that's when technical difficulties like to happen when I'm on a time schedule. Now, guys, let's see the lights not on either. I got to turn that on real quick. There we go. Now we're ready to go. So, guys, we got the new heavyweights in packs. They're pretty cool. I don't know if I'll be using either one of them just because of what my team is constructed like at the moment. I cannot use an outside linebacker nor a right guard. We did get Justin Houston. Houston. We did get Justin Houston and Marshall Yonda. Now, guys, I will be going over these and rating them and letting you guys know how I feel about them as a player overall, like in general. But for my team, I don't think I'll be picking either one up, although they are very good cards. Now, guys, if you haven't already, go down below. Smack the sub button. We are over 7k now. We're aiming for 8k pretty soon, probably within like a week or so. And then hopefully 8k and then 9k and then 10k and so on and so forth, boys. Madden 20 is our building year. We're building this channel up, so hopefully you guys can... Join the ride and go drop a sub. If you haven't already, also turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. Also, if you guys could so kindly, I know it's a content video. If you could get 100 likes this video, that'd be greatly appreciated. Obviously, guys, as I always say, likes do help me a lot. So if you're a loyal supporter and you want to find the best way to support the channel, drop a like. It definitely helps get my channel out there, my videos out there. So I greatly appreciate it, guys. Also, comment down below what you guys think of these heavyweights and if you plan on picking any of them up. Now, let's back out of Ultimate Team to refresh it because I have been in here since I did record my other video. I do have my House Rules Reward Pack for you guys. You guys won't want to miss that. Go check that out. I did get one of the two players I really wanted. Like, there was two players that I really wanted because I could use them on my team for a while. I did get one of them. I'm very excited about that. Works out for my team. Grady will be a starter coming day one. Now, let's see. Go down to Heavyweights. I don't know why it doesn't. Like, sometimes it shows it here, sometimes it doesn't. New in Training Store. Heavyweight Release 2. See, so, hey, look how it doesn't say that they're here, but they are here. Like, I like how they started doing this here. So, you guys, you, you can check the release by here. Release 2, release 2, release 2, release 3. They have not showed the heavyweight yet, but we all know they're in packs. Now, if you go over to the store, guys, the reroll method is now kind of in effect, if you guys think about it. It's so a training currency. Heavyweight packs are 1,780. Now, as far as the flashbacks go, they did, they did release 88 overalls, like I told you guys, and they had not changed the price. So, as I told you guys, if they release new players that are higher overalls, this becomes a reroll set. So, prior to this, if you pulled an 87, you, like, just about... Made your, you made your training back with like maybe a hundred extra training but if you got an 87 you lost i mean 86 so if you think about it before it wasn't worth now there's 88s that give you like a little over i think 2000 training so now if you can now you could re-roll these so i guess that applies for the heavyweights if these heavyweight drops are 88 which i'm not sure yet it, but if they are you can now use this as a re-roll set so you can open it if you pull an 87 you make coins i mean you make training or coins either way if you pull an 88 you make tons of training and coins so really there's only one l so if they could drop 89s in this pack and they don't update the training value trust me these will be one of the best reroll sets and i will make a video on it as of now it is definitely a reroll set potentially now i always check sets but they don't have any heavyweight sets yet, which is kind of annoying. That's how you used to always check everything because they don't have those tokens anymore. But let's head on over to the block. I will not be opening any because I do not need any of these cards. Also, guys, stay tuned for Weekend League Rewards. That will be coming to you shortly today, too, and my House Rules Rewards. So that will be shortly after this video, probably around 12 and then 3-ish. So just stay tuned for that. Let's go over to the auction block and go check out these new heavyweights. Martian is always one of the best right guards in the game, so I'm kind of excited for him. Although I won't be using him now, but if his stats are good enough, I could replace him with Larry Allen, although I don't think I will. Because Larry Allen, I think I'd rather have long term. But again, he might not get an upgrade for quite a while considering he's a legend. So you never really know. Let's go to newest. Let's go check these guys out. Marshall Yonda is up on the block and Houston. So we got Marshall Yonda, 88 right guard. So this is a reroll set now. Although it's not in full effect until they drop 89s. Because if they drop 89s, 88s, 87s, and 86 in that pack, you can potentially get 89, 88, or 87, which are all profit. And then the 86 is the only bad ones. I would highly recommend this as a reroll set. Let's go check out his stats compared to Larry Allen. So you compare him. So his strength is an 87, his, his awareness is 89, his pass blocking is an 85, his pass blocking power is 87, his pass, his pass blocking finesse, or footwork, whatever it is, 84, his run blocking is 87, his run blocking, um, I always hit the word power, 88, and run blocking finesse is 85. Now, if you guys do look at these stats compared, Larry Allen clearly, in my opinion, is the better option. Now, he has better strength, better run blocking, so that's all you really need to know. The pass block doesn't really matter. They're almost tied there, but he does have 
what I what I mean by they're better. So his pass block might only be, his run block might only be better by two and one. But if you do put zone run on him, he does hit the 90 threshold. So he's officially a threshold kind of guy. See Marciondi, even with all the chems, you might not even get the threshold with him. So Larry Allen's a threshold run blocker. Although his pass blocking is not threshold, it is definitely the same. Is the same as Marciondi because you can't hit threshold anyways with them. And he has better strength. Let's see what their lead blocking is. That kind of what it comes down to. I do not. I believe Marciondi's lead block is never really too good. I could be entirely wrong. He might actually be one of the better ones. I always forget because there's always a right guard that isn't. Yeah, his lead block's bad. I thought it was Marciondi. And so Larry Allen takes the cake here. So as a whole, I definitely would recommend Larry Allen over Marciondi. But again, there will be more upgrades during the year. So during the year, you don't always want legend cards because they won't get upgrades. So like the legends that come out are good, but like Mar Larry Allen might not get another card for quite some time. So he might be good for now, but he might not be good in a few months, like a month or two. So that's when you want to start getting these current players like a new Yonda. But for the time being, he's definitely useful. Now let's go check out Justin Houston, 88 right in on the Colts. I actually forgot he went to the Colts. When I saw he was on the Colts, I was really confused. But as a whole, this card is pretty good. If you can, let's go compare him to my right end, which is Aaron Donald. He does stack up decently against him, not entirely as good as you want. He's six foot three, so he's pretty tall, which is good. He has 82 acceleration, which is tied. He has 80 strength. 85 tackle 90 play rec 83 block shedding 86 power move and 79 finesse move now compared to aaron donald he's, he's faster which is good excels the same much lower strength which i do not like he has better tackle and better play rec, but the play rec doesn't matter because they both are threshold players with chems on them so i don't really mind that aspect the tackling is a bit of an l but it doesn't matter too much because it's only three better tackling is what it is now what does kill him is his block shed his power and finesse move so aaron donald with chems has threshold power move i believe threshold block shed and he has threshold play rec. Justin, uh, Justin Houston will only have threshold play rec. So if you guys don't know what that is, threshold pretty much means when you clear 90, they play a lot better. So if you guys know, like if you have an 89 zone and a 90 zone, they play entirely different. 90 zone means they hit the threshold to be like an elite zone cover guy. 89 means they're just a good zone cover guy. So that what makes a big difference when you hit 90s. So Aaron Donald is definitely a lot better. So if I had to recommend taking either one of them, I'd definitely go Aaron Donald. Although Houston will be probably a lot cheaper than Aaron Donald. At the time, he is not, as you guys can see, he is 240K. But he obviously will come down. That's like the first one posted. Let's see any of the underlying stats. His agility is okay. His awareness is obviously really good. Let's see. Jumping is only 72, which doesn't really matter for ends. Impact blocking 86. I do like that. I don't know how much that impacts it, but I typically like impact blocking. I feel like that helps when you're taking like people who are leading on you and stuff and pitches to destroy it. So, you know, what's it called? Blow up blocks. Hit power is an 88. That has, it actually is really good. So I don't mind that at all. So he's a, he's, he's a strong hitter. Now, as a whole, how I feel about these cards, I definitely do like Marciondi and Justin Houston. If I had to recommend picking up any of them, I'd definitely recommend Larry Allen or Aaron Donald over both of them. But if Marciondi comes down to like 100K, you could honestly take him over Larry Allen, although Larry Allen's cheap in his own right. So if Marciondi is at like 100K flat, by the way, which would be the best trading option in the game. Let's see what the prices are right now. If he's, under, if he's at 100K, he will be the best trading option in the game. But Justin Houston, I can't recommend over Aaron Donald. Although, if he goes down to like 150K, 140K-ish, I could you could definitely take him over Aaron Donald for the time being, considering Donald's probably a lot more expensive. I haven't really been on the price on those just yet, so I can't exactly speak for that just yet. Let's see what the buy nows are, just so I can give you guys an idea on the price. Let's go down. Let's filter these by 88, so I can just see them more in depth. So Houston, 160, 170. Okay, so if these come down more, they would be worth it. At their current price point, they are not. Now... Guys, like I said, Marshonda could be a better long-term option as is Houston because they will get upgrades throughout the year. So if you guys want, if you guys are a Ravens fan and you like Yonda, don't don't bother. If you guys want to take him, go ahead. I won't stop you because you can power him up, get him to an 89 potentially, make him better than Larry Allen if you powered him up, and also you can then put all more upgrades on him until there's a Larry Allen later in the year because there might not be a Larry Allen until Ultimate Legends or like a Super Bowl promo or something. So remember that. So whatever Larry Allen you have now, you might be stuck with for quite a while. But guys. That's about it for the video. This is the content video for the day. Hope you guys have been enjoying these content videos. You know, I try my best to get these out as quick as I can. The only person who beats me is Xerxes, and he beats me by like a minute. And that's only because his computer is slightly better than mine. Mine's very good, but he, he bought a supercomputer, so he beats me by like a minute or two. But guys, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go down below. Smack it. Give it a, give it a thumbs up. Smack the like button. Because, like I said, guys, the best way to support the channel is to drop a like. It means a lot. It really helps the channel grow. And it helps my channel get put out there, you know? So if you guys if you guys made it this far, like the video. Also, comment down below what you think of these heavyweights. Because I actually like both of them. I can't use them because of the way my team is built, but many people can. For the first few drops, these are I always liked heavyweights. Heavyweights are always a good promo. Veterans, not so much. Neither is flashbacks, in my opinion, but I definitely love heavyweight promo. So if you guys enjoyed these, comment down below what you guys think of them and if you'll be picking them up. 
Also, if you haven't already, turn on the noti bell to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And guys, if you haven't already, drop a sub. We're over 7K, we're grinding to 8K, so I'd greatly appreciate if you dropped a sub. Guys, that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the content. And don't forget, I've been dropping a house rules video, and I'm also dropping a weekly league reward video, so you won't want to miss that, so stay tuned for that. Turn on the noti bell so you know when they go up. And that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.